item retrieved. One, one pair of tie-dyed socks. The size for a 7th grader. Item lost. One, one iPod playing For Your Love by the Yardbirds on loop setting on full volume. Notes, we could still hear the music after the device disappeared, although it did sound more distant. Investigation of the sound revealed that the, de the device stuck inside a wall on the floor directly under this one. Maybe SCP-1162 teleports all of the items lost below itself somewhere in the ground. This should be investigated. Also, Pigeon said they're going to head to bed. Ah, okay. Uh, good night, Pigeon. Night. Uh, item retrieved. One, one, purple round ball. Item lost. One, one, small metallic tracking device courtesy of the SCP Electronics de de Development Team. Notes. Device was recovered from an oil tanker in the middle of the Red Sea. Well, there that goes that hypothesis. Subject, Dr. K. Item retrieved. Keys to Dr. K. Just dormitory. I'm lost. Standard Foundation ID badge. Item retrieved. Standard Foundation ID badge. Item lost. Sta re replacement Foundation ID badge. Notes. <laughs> Doc. <laughs> Head research notes. We did warn you about those about the ID badges, Doctor. I hope you like paperwork, because there's gonna because there's a lot of it in your future. <laughs> oh, uh, Winter, go for this one. Uh, oh, okay, sure thing. <laughs> Subject, Doctor. <laughs> Item retrieved. One, one wooden sword replica. Item lost. One, one pencil. Notes. Cool. I thought I lost this when I moved. Doctor. <laughs> Item retrieved. One, one paper fan. Item lost. Package of cookies. Notes. Ah, I went to eat those for lunch today. Item retrieved. One, one umbrella. Item lost. One, one twenty dollar <laughs> bill. Notes. I don't like this thing anymore. It's messing with me. Doctor. Beautiful. Yep. <laughs> right. And this is now this is one of the best SCPs because it's unintentionally screwing with people. Exactly. <laughs> now I'm, here's, I'm get... oh, here's the thing, because I was like, wow, this this uh experiment long is Freaking long, and I'm like, but I would look at a, uh, at a at a, at, a, at one here and there, and be like, hey, this looks kind of silly, and I'm like, well, how long can I keep people's attention with this? But now that we've yeah. seen all of these, yeah, I think yeah, we... yeah. So I'm just gonna have a look here. Uh, we're on page 18, and I just want to see how many there. There's one more page. Two, three, four, five. Six, and then uh, six and then i started and then i started uh getting uh, uh i i zoomed out a slightly amount so i could get more <laughs> per page so we're six pages yeah so there's a whole six more pages we'll skip over uh, we'll do the last page okay yeah honestly this in all honesty this this stream is kind of my first exposure to a lot of scp stuff so <laughs> Welcome. This place is beautiful and creepy, and I love it. Yeah, for the uh, yeah, for know. our purposes for today, I happen to just get the the silliest ones. Luckily, ah, uh, yes, the so, silly ones are the best. Ones. Yes. So, subject, Doctor Nick. Item retrieved. One, one golf ball size chunk of white powder, later confirmed to be pure deoxyribonucleic acid. That's DNA. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. Item lost. One, one. Bag of commissary popcorn. Notes. Dr. Nick immediately dropped to the floor, clutching his test and demanded an inhaler. Medical tests has revealed that a genetic disorder which Dr. Nick was afflicted with at birth had returned, which had been lost after being treated with SCP-427 upon joining the Foundation. Dr. Nick was retreated with SCP-427, and multiple tests confirmed he was cured. Head researcher notes, This is another first. 
as apparently a portion of the genetic makeup can be considered to be lost by 1162. No further deliberate testing is planned in this area. Area, However, this information has been added to the pre-test briefing document as to limit the potential strain on Foundation medical resources.